Today we are going self-care shopping for the best selling items at Target. Look at her. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Boss Girlified. It's your girl, Tima. I have been seeing some of these products all over TikTok, all over my For You page, everywhere. So I'm hoping that the girlies are really onto something. My expectations are really high. Let's get ready. This is my jewelry for today in the winter, especially around Christmas. Even though I don't celebrate, I feel the need to go towards the gold. But I just have this gold watch that my boyfriend gave me. This clear quartz ring I made. Some hoop earrings. And this chain. Girl, let's get into it because this is giving 2000 vibe. I don't know where I got these from, but they're really cute and I don't really wear them that much. How could I forget about my bag? Because I was thinking about this cheetah print bag. You know what? Hold on. White bag? No, I'm going with the cheetah. I knew what I was doing before I even put that other bag down. Let's go ahead and pack my bag up. I'm going to take a shower. I like to choose my scents. My scents. My scents. This is going to be my body lotion and this chocolate musk as my base perfume. I might also throw this vanilla musk in my bag it would probably make a lot more sense for me to do my skincare right now while i'm in a towel but girl i get dry so i'm gonna go ahead and put on my body care i decided i'm gonna use this oil as a body oil kind of that ain't my that ain't my girl that's my nigga catch me out on ocean drives with her Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Okay, let's go ahead and do my skin care. A lot of skin care, I know. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Go! Yeah. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a piece of mind, baby. Come and get a piece of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Of course, I got makeup on my shirt. And this is the finished Target Run look. I gotta find a different spot for y'all. Maybe. There we go. That's a little bit bad. On Target.com, I organized all of their items by their best-selling items. I'm gonna kind of go based off of the best sellers list on Target.com, and I'm also gonna get some stuff that I've seen viral on like YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Oh, I forgot about gas. Let me go get gas. Just call me Miss. Calling it close. <laughs> First, I think I'm gonna do hygiene. I'm looking for the, of course, the Maya Rosemary drops, but I don't see them. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for the pink version of this because I already have this. This is the best selling one they have here, but I don't think they have it. What the fuck? They don't have anything I'm looking for. I also got the Tree Hut um, body butter. I've tried the scrub, as you guys know, but um, I've never tried the body butter before. I don't know. I need some exfoliating gloves. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go with this because I have this scent in the deodorant. Obviously, Native is one of the most popular brands. I need a new brow pencil because the one I've been using is a little bit too dark for me. So this is deep brown. I think this is the darkest shade that they have. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get this mini deodorant. They're $2.99. So for mouthwash, of course I have to get this. <laughs> but I'm going to get the one on the top shelf because I don't know what I want. And of course I have to get the mighty patches. I think I'm just going to get the original. It's so busy in here, guys. I also want to try this brand here because I've seen this everywhere. I wish they had more stuff though, like they're all sold out, so that kind of sucks. I think I'm probably just going to try the clarifying serum. 
if I ever do a video like this again, remind me to never come to Tempe Marketplace to do it. I'm so glad I was able to find like the Frenchie and the Bombay and the Dr. Castile soap and the Native. I don't know where I'm going, guys. Let me get some directions. I am going the right way. I knew where I was going this whole time. I barely had any opportunities to film anything of me like shopping. I don't want to be one of those people that's filming people without their consent. Alright you guys, I am home. Here is this big ass bag I got. The moisturizing conditioner. Obviously I'm not going to get into my cleaning supplies. I do love these though and I highly recommend especially this one right here. This is the best cleaner ever and it's pink. <laughs> and also it comes in like, like a big thing that you can um, refill this bottle with. This I have used before. I love the dark blue bottle more than any other one. Even though the pink one is pretty, but it's not as good as this one. Cocolata Whip Shea Body Butter. Ooh, this smells really good. It's definitely giving, like, drugstore, but it's it's still good. French. I don't know about the scent, bergamot and setter, but I did hear that this is a really good scent, or this is a really good brand, and it's Balance and Harmony. It does smell pretty good, but it's kind of giving... It, ooh, actually it smells really, really nice. No, I like the way this smells, but it's very, it's a very natural scent, like a very clean, fresh smell. We have these mini native deodorant sticks. These I am so excited to try. Next we have the Bomba Balance and Clarifying Serum. I don't really have anything like this. Um, this is more of like a treatment than like a moisturizing serum and I have plenty of moisturizing serums So I am really excited to see how this works on my skin um, It still does feel pretty hydrating but um, I'm really excited to see what it does. I have the Mighty Pimple Patches. These I've never tried before, but I see them everywhere. Yeah, I've definitely used this one before. This is the one that my boyfriend put me on to. But this stuff, like, it has you feeling so clean. Like, I've never used anything that makes me feel as clean as this makes me feel. It's pretty cheap. I have these exfoliating gloves. I really wanted to get this exfoliator, but they didn't have it. And I also wanted to get Whey, but they didn't have any Whey. But it's okay, because I got these exfoliating gloves. I'm going to use these when I'm doing my exfoliating. Elf Brow Pencil. This I'm really excited to try because I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Granite. And that's a little bit too dark for me, so I have to really, really be very, very careful with how I use it. Like right now, because I have these braids in, it doesn't look too off. But when I have my natural hair out, it does. Uh, it's giving like those crayons, those old crayons. But maybe that was the first. No, it's kind of it's kind of hard, guys. Let's get into the product reviews. First, let's get into e.l.f. I did really, really want to get the pink e.l.f. primer, but guys, let's get into it. This Target location that I went to did not have anything I was looking for. Actually, that's a reach. They had some of what I was looking for, but not everything. And a lot of things they really did not have. But to be fair, that could be because it's not an Ulta or it's not a Target with an Ulta. So that could be a part of it, but still. A little bit disappointing but I have used the power grip before it is my favorite favorite item of course this is the best-selling item at Target or one of the best-selling products at Target especially when it comes to the beauty space so this is definitely a five out of five I've been using this forever I have not left this side of the elf power grip since I was like 18 literally but it's hydrating it really grips your makeup it adds a nice glow under your makeup and my makeup stays very very well with this next up though we have the brow pencil now this is also one of the top best-selling items at target so i was expecting a lot i do really really like the the brush because it's very very dense and it's fine so i can actually lay my brows the way i want to but for the pencil i really really had to press it on there as you guys can see it did not really swatch very well and that was already kind of a red flag but when i put it on when i tried to put it on on my brows this morning i had to end up going in with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade i had to keep brushing my brows back it would not fill in the sparse areas at all it hurt because i was trying to put so much pressure so honestly i do like the brush a lot at the end and it was only three dollars so i can't be mad at it so i'm gonna have to give it a cool three and a half out of five stars now, if there's anything you take away from this video and that you really, really get, 
let it be these eco gloves now let me tell you these exfoliating gloves i was a little bit hesitant at first because i was like how is a pair of gloves that look like exfoli like a loofah gonna do anything different for me but i was i was still willing to give it a shot and i'm glad i did because oh my goodness not only do i not waste a lot of product when it comes to my scrub because I don't have to put it on my fingers and let it like fall through my fingers. Also, my skin has never been so smooth. Like this shit really got my skin exfoliated. I have never had my skin as exfoliated as when I've used that glove. Even I have this sponge that I really, really love and it kind of exfoliates as well. And that is my favorite exfoliator. It doesn't come close to these gloves and they were like $3. So that's definitely getting a five out of five stars. Next up, we have the Dr. Broner's Pure Castile Soap. I have tried this before and I loved it because it makes your body feel so minty fresh. It is the best feeling in the world. Also, this is not too expensive, especially when you consider that you're supposed to use a very small amount of this. You're actually supposed to dilute it, but you're supposed to use a very, very small amount of it and it lathers, girl. You will not need too much of this product. So you're gonna have this for a really, really long time. Um, I have nothing to complain about. It has good ingredients. It's not too harmful for your body. So I'm gonna have to give that a five out of five stars. Next up, we have the Native Deodorants. These are the minis, and these were only $2.99 each. I love the fresh mistletoe. It definitely gives like a fresh, clean, warm, homey type of feel to it. And I've already loved Native Deodorant for so long. I have been using native deodorant religiously for at least three years. So I knew I was gonna like the formula. It's not too harsh. It's not stripping at all. Um, I am very sensitive. So when I use deodorants that are filled with those toxic chemicals, especially after I shave, girl, it's gonna burn. But I never get any type of reaction with the native deodorants. It's relatively cheap. These are cute to travel with. The spiked eggnog smells so good. I've been looking for something to put. I usually am the type of girl to mix like a fragrance in my deodorant because I want it to get that fragrance smell. And that is a little bit harsh for me because obviously alcohol is in fragrances. But um, I do have a lot of vanilla scents and stuff like that. So I would really like a deodorant that matches that. And this is that for me. So I am absolutely in love with this. I'm probably going to get the full version of this. So these mini deodorants definitely get a five out of five stars. As for the conditioner, I haven't been able to try it yet because, girl, I just put these braids in. I'm not going to wash them yet. But when I do wash my hair, I'm probably going to do like an everything skincare or everything hair routine or whatever or everything my everything routine i'm probably going to do one of those so when i do that i will review that conditioner but so far i like the smell it feels really nice and um it's not filled with all those chemicals so that's obviously a plus but i'll get back to you guys on that one now as for the native body wash i do like this a lot i like the sandalwood scent but i'm not a huge fan of this particular scent i'm sure if i got like the coconut one i would absolutely love it but also i'm really excited about their holiday scents Girl, when we do that everything shower routine, that's going to be in there for sure. But I like the formula. You don't have to use too much. It lathers pretty well. The scent lingers, and it's also not too expensive. So I'm going to have to give this particular scent a four out of five stars. Now for my else, I'm a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to get the rosemary oil. But of course, this location did not have anything I was looking for. But I did get this rosemary mint uh, strengthening hair mask. I do like it a lot. It moisturizes my hair very well. It defines my curls very well. But I will have to say I have used better masks. And honestly, the mask that works the best for my sp particular hair type is the Aztec clay mask, the way I make it at least. So... I already was a little bit hesitant. I mean, it's a mask. I'm not going to like bash on it because it works, but um, it's a little bit more expensive than to, per se two uses out of my um, Aztec clay mask because my hair is very, very thick and very, very curly. So I do have to use a lot of product. I have used this twice and it's already almost empty. Like there's barely any left in here. So, I mean, it works, but it's a little bit more expensive than I think it's worth. So I'm going to have to give it a three and a half out of five stars. Now we have the TheraBreath Healthy Gums Oral Rinse. Now this I do really, really like. It's very minty, it's not too sweet, which I hate that a lot of mouthwashes are really, really sweet. It definitely ha doesn't have all of those bad stuff in it that a lot of other mouthwashes do. Honestly, I have been stuck on this. I think it's the Hello Charcoal Mouthwash. That worked. It tastes disgusting, but it works so freaking well. But I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five stars just because nothing comes close to my charcoal 
mouth rinse. Next we have the Boy Bioma clarifying serum. I've seen this brand all over my For You page everywhere and I was really really excited to try it. They barely had any of this in stock when I was there but that's the only thing that I saw and I was like you know what why don't I get that? I also saw a moisturizer but I have plenty of moisturizers right now <laughs> but um, I do need something more clarifying and I tend to stay away from them because I am dry sensitive and I have eczema. I was expecting it to be um a little bit too much for my skin but it's really really not um, my skin doesn't dry out when I use it which is really really good it basically stays at the same point that it is when I put it on which is great I obviously haven't been using it long enough to know the full effects of it but I will get back to you guys on that one but for now I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five stars let's get into the miracle or the the mighty pimple patches now these, they actually pulled out some gunk for my skin. I think they pulled out the sebum. Now a lot of pimple patches, what they do is they stick onto your skin and pull the layer of skin up off of your skin so that it kind of like, the gunk just kind of comes out on its own, which is a lot less abrasive than popping the pimple. But for this, it actually absorbs sebum, which makes me curious about those big patches that people put on their face. And it's a whole mask. If it's that same brand, I'm gonna try it. So let me know if y'all want me to do a video where I try like weird, crazy skincare items like that one or like the collagen mask. Oh my God, I wanna try that. I have tried the the rose one. I forgot what the exact scent it was, but it was a little bit too strong for me because I'm very sensitive. But I think it may have something to do with the Shea Sugar Scrub or just the scent I chose. But this is a lot less harsh for me personally. Um, I do not have really any burning or tingling sensation. And if anything, it's very moisturizing. It leaves my skin very, very hydrated, which I absolutely love. So yeah, I've definitely changed my mind on the Tree Hut Scrubs now because of that one. So that's definitely gonna have to get a five out of five stars it's also very cheap and affordable i did also get the coco uh coco colada whipped shea body butter because i wanted to try something else chi hut um and they also didn't have the scrub that i really wanted uh, so i had to settle for this um as a replacement i guess even though it's a different brand but it's still the tree hut brand which is also very very popular one of the best selling brands at target now this is definitely more of a body cream than a body butter which i was a little bit like Ugh, come on but i can just put some oil in it i guess and make it a little bit more of an oil based thing but still I was a little bit disappointed, but it smells really, really nice. I was also hoping that it would be like a Sol de Janeiro dupe, but it wasn't, which, you know, that's, that's a high expectation to set. But I was thinking that because of this video I saw about Trader Joe's skincare and how they basically have a Sol de Janeiro dupe, even though some people are saying, oh, like it's close, but it's not there. But still, I want to try that out and I want to try other Trader Joe's skincare because I'm curious now. <laughs> but, um... This is definitely going to have to get a three and a half out of five stars from me because I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not actually a body butter. And finally, we have the French. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I keep wanting to pronounce it Frenchy, which I mean, that just seems right. But this bottle, first of all, this bottle is so freaking cute. It was super cheap and it smells so good and the smell lingers, guys. I spray this on one time throughout the day and it lasts for like at least four hours. I'm not kidding. This smells really, really nice. I like the fact that it's a linen hair and body spray, so I can't be too mad at it. It's definitely going to have to get a five out of five stars from me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. It has been Tima and I will see you on another video soon. Bye, guys. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in my...